Fossa the Lion King's official trailer is here. This is the semi-prequel sequel to the Lion King live-action film that we got back in, like, 2019. I never thought we would actually get a sequel to this, nor did I ever think that, like, Barry Jenkins, the director of Moonlight, would be doing a film like this. So, without further ado, let's do this trailer reaction right now. Well, it already looks more gorgeous from just that little intro. We're starting it. Okay. Nostalgia. The story begins far beyond the mountains and the shadows. On the other side of the light. A lion was born without a drop of nobility in his blood. <laughs> a lion who would change our lives forever. Mufasa. It looks gorgeous. I mean... Great cast. First teaser. Um, I gotta say, I, I'm I'm not excited. I wasn't excited for this film, like at all. Uh, I thought the Lion King live action film was a big disappointment, and I say this as someone who loves the original Lion King animated film. I think it's one of the best, and just like many other people would think, and that live action film like just didn't have the emotion that I really needed from that story. And a lot of that comes from these live action animals that look super realistic and look fantastic. They just don't, <laughs> how do you put it? You, you just can't have emotion from them. Like there's just nothing coming from it. And what I can say, watching this trailer, it definitely hit the nostalgic feels for me. It starts out with that great thing, um, you hear the music, you hear the fundamentals, you hear Mufasa's name, and you see him running around, and I get a little bit excited. So am I getting tricked? Maybe. But it's also Barry Jenkins, and I have to imagine that an award-winning director like him is got to be something here, right? Something special. And watching this trailer, while well, it's a teaser, and I don't know what that special thing is yet, it feels a little bit special. But it doesn't blow my mind away, but it gets me intrigued and it gets me excited. And as of right now, I mean, honestly, I'm excited for it. And I wouldn't have said that as of like two minutes ago. I would have said, oh, yeah, like, I'll, I'll go watch it. But now I'm actually pretty intrigued to see what this trailer is. And a lot of that can stem from Barry Jenkins, but also it can stem from how this trailer looks. I think one of the biggest also criticisms I had was a lot of the sequences for the other Lion King film were also just very boring. They felt very realistic. And that's okay. That's what they were going for. But, you know, the original animated film was so colorful and so fun and vibrant. And that is the one thing that I did see a little bit different here is how vibrant this trailer was. Well, yes, it's still the same landscape. Seeing him jump over like all the hippos and then running across these little areas and just seeing how like I can imagine certain musical sequences to be gets me incredibly excited. An incredible voice cast. Love that Calvin Harrison Jr. is in here. I love him as an actor. I, I, I'm like obsessed. But I'm excited. Count me in. This intrigued me. If the point of a trailer is to get you excited more than you were before you watched the movie or before you'd even watched the trailer... And this trailer did exactly what it needed to do, and I am on board. Maybe it'll kick my ass. Maybe it'll turn around and say, yeah, this was a terrible idea. They should not have done that. Or maybe I'll come back around and say, wow, they came in. They came to play. So make sure to leave your thoughts down below. Hit that like and subscribe button. And, of course, until next time, stay classy.